Alrighty, here we've got Jumanji Wild Adventures being played on Xbox Series X. Curious if that right games, so I thank them for the opportunity. Um, this is actually a it's, a, it's a different game than the first Jumanji game that I've covered um, on this channel. Um, so, when you first start the game and you go through the tutorial, you're in this Jeep. And they use this Jeep to navigate around the, uh, the world map, which you can use to break... Um, uh, to break boxes to get currency as well as little jewels that are heading around uh, the map. And then when you start a mission, start a level, you select one of four characters. You're going to do Dr. Smolder Bravestone, Ruby Runhouse, Mouse Fenbar, or Professor Shelley O'Baron. Uh, I'm going to play as uh, Dr. Smolder. Uh, each with their own abilities. Up to four player co op, which is kind of cool. Um, the only downside of that is only the first player gets the achievements if you're playing on uh, Xbox or if you're playing on a uh, PlayStation platform, and the only person that's going to get the uh, the trophies, which is kind of a letdown. I really wish that they would allow multiple accounts to be signed at the same time in order for you to both get the achievements or trophies. Um, be nice. Uh, but this is a different game in the sense that it is a, uh, a beat 'em up uh, brawler collectathon type type game, whereas the previous game was was a bit different than that. Uh, I really like the combat. The combat's the combat's nice. Uh, it's solid. Um, but the stages themselves uh, can feel a little bit repetitive. And the overall gameplay itself can be a rather repetitive as well, so this might be a game you want to pick up and maybe, um, you know, maybe, maybe then, maybe give it to, to play in bite-sized chunks. At least for me. But, I mean, it, it's pretty satisfying. The combat's pretty good. You can jump on enemies, you can punch them, you can throw your boomerang if you have to get your boomerang if you're playing as uh, this character here. And you can get the letters to smell out Jumanji. If I can actually get the letter here. There we go. A J. I like the fact that the characters can swim. <laughs> I was actually concerned when I first started playing this game seeing water. I'm like, uh, are they going to be able to swim? Because that's a lot of water. Uh, thankfully, they they do swim. The swim mechanic's pretty good. I like the uh, reflections of the water. It's not the, it's not perfect as you can see, but it's it's decent. Music's decent too. And I really appreciate the. Um, The uh, voice acting, I really think that, that adds to the game quite a bit. Better than saying they're trying to read text as you're fighting. <laughs> uh, the game does encourage exploration that will get you to find the letters, or in this case, gold. And it also needed to get the keys, things like that. Lucky there. Um, the one downside I will also say about the game is the fact that if you play more than one player, um, the camera will uh, focus on the player that's going in the right direction. If you try to deviate from the linear path that you're going on, unless you're both going in the same direction, um, eventually your character will come, come back to you in a bubble. Which really is not cool. Um, right. I think they should have went the route of... Uh, the LO games where they did um, the uh, uh, the uh, uh, splitting of the of the camera how to have it go with split screen. Great. Having instead like like a 
Mario slash bubble effects kind of kind of a letdown. But I mean, overall the game's the game's solid. Uh, just again, kind of repetitive. Um, I do really like the uh, uh, throwable objects you get. However, be aware that um, you can lose them. <laughs> uh, there's a chance that your boomerang, for instance, with this character, uh, will not come back. Uh, you will lose it forever until you find it again. If I find in some instances that the boomerang and other other projectiles are going to be required um, if you're trying to explore and, and obtain everything. It's the idea to keep an eye on your, on your boomerang, figure out where it's at. Definitely important. But I mean, as, aside from from the issues I have with this game, I think it's far far better than um, the first Jumanji game that I covered on the channel. By far, it's not as repetitive though. It's repetitive, and it's a lot more fun. Uh, there's a lot more to, to see, there's a lot more to to check out, and to just generally explore, and have a good time with it. So far I got them all, oh, and then you that chest. Um, those, those lightning type rods, those are a checkpoint. So if you die, you'll end up going back here. Uh -huh. Now I'm playing on medium. There's three difficulties. There's easy, which gives you a little, gives you a little bit of lives, and you fall out of, from a pit. If you fall out of a pit with uh, on easy, you'll at least have a heart. If you do it on medium, like I'm playing here, you'll lose a full heart. You fall off a cliff. And there's hard mode, which is both both that and the enemies are harder. Well, even on medium, I think this game is fairly easy. Ugh. Let's keep going. Alright, so it's been a look at uh, Jumanji Wild Adventures. Uh, again, a decent platformer, collect a thon, brawler game. Um, on any platform you wish to pick it up on, I want to thank uh, uh, Rocky Games for the opportunity. Uh, thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and as always, until next time, take care and happy gaming. Right on.